Enter users and permissions under settings. In roles and permissions, we add a new role named partner. Click Submit to save the partner role. Then click on the partner role. Add a user to the partner role. Grant the partner role to NocoBase, that is, make NocoBase a member of the partner group. Switch the current user's role to partner. You can see the website interface has changed. Now switch back to the root role. Enter users and permissions again. Under the partner role, we allow it to display the task management menu, but exclude the demo page. Switch to the partner role again. You'll see the task management page and its tab blocks, but no content. Switch back to the root role. Go to users and permissions configuration again. Click users and permission settings. Under roles, click on partner and configure data sources. Give the partner role permission to the tasks collection. We allow the partner role to view and edit, but not delete or add in this collection. Click Submit. Click anywhere on the page. Switch the user to the partner role. You can see the data is now displayed. We enter Data Sources Management. Go to the Tasks collection. Add a new field. We choose a many-to-one relationship field to represent the person in charge of the task. Select many-to-one type. Enter the display name as task assignee. Set the target collection to users. In the foreign key field, put assignee ID. The target key is the ID of the users table. You can create an inverse relationship field in users if needed, but we don't need it here. Click submit to add the field. In editor mode, open task 01. Configure the form fields to enable task assignee. Choose nickname as the display title. You can see the nickname here. Set the task assignee to super admin. Click submit. Under configure columns, enable task assignee and set it to display by nickname. You can see task 01 is now assigned to super admin. Drag this field before task attachments and rearrange the other fields if needed. Adjust any remaining fields. How can the assigned user modify the current task? In users and permissions, set partner role permissions accordingly. Under tasks collection, we configure edit permission. Add a new custom permission scope. Call it assignee can edit. Add a condition. Task assignee ID equals the current user's ID so they can edit their own tasks. Set the view scope to all records. Permission configuration is complete. Click Submit. Switch the current user to the partner role. Go to Task Management and verify that this user can edit only their own tasks. But they cannot edit tasks not assigned to them and the changes won't be saved. We can assign multiple tasks to a user, including responsibilities for specific tasks, such as designating the super admin as responsible for the subsequent testing. Then we add a view button in the actions column. In the view block, select detail of the current record. Enable task name, description, and status. Also enable start date and end date, complete percent, task detail and task assignee. Set the task assignee display field to nickname. Adjust the layout by dragging fields. Don't forget the task attachments field. Afterward, the page view is configured. In Users and Permission Settings, 
Create a new user. Nickname, Tom, and set a password. Click Submit. In Task Management, assign Tom as assignee for some tasks. Change the task's responsible person to Tom. Remember to assign different users and roles. Set Tom under the partner role and remove member role if needed. Now, sign in as Tom using the username and password we just set. Click Sign In. User Tom cannot edit tasks that aren't assigned to him. For task four, where Tom is responsible, he can make changes and save. Task 04 is successfully modified. Similarly, in Kanban, Calendar, and Gantt views, Tom can edit only the tasks he's assigned to. He cannot modify tasks not assigned to him. However, viewing tasks is not affected by assignment. Finally, we switch back to the default user, superadmin, admin at nocobase.com, with password admin123. After returning to the main admin user, we open Task Management. At this point, we can see tasks assigned to various users slash roles, and the ability to edit view them is working correctly. We haven't yet configured permission control for the comments block. How can we allow user Tom to comment? This will be a challenge task to explore after this course. In the next chapter, let's dive deeper into the powerful workflow feature of NocoBase.